And today I'm going to detail how the bioflavonoid quercetin enhances the absorption and overall performance of the carotenoid astaxanthin. Both quercetin and astaxanthin are already well known individually for their incomparable antioxidant activity and even specific benefits like astaxanthin's increase of blood flow to the eyes and quercetin's alleviation of allergy symptoms. Quercetin in particular is already known for dramatically improving the absorption of zinc, specifically through quercetin's augmentation of the zinc transporting protein metallothionine, and even the popular yet notoriously difficult to absorb alkaloid berberine through quercetin's inhibition of the permeability glycoprotein. Similarly, quercetin dramatically improves the cellular uptake of astaxanthin through increasing the activity of the CD36 transporter protein, which is directly involved in astaxanthin absorption. Before I show you how quercetin enhances the absorption of astaxanthin, let's first dive into why the CD36 transporter protein is so critical for astaxanthin absorption. CD36, also known as cluster of differentiation 36, or fatty acid translocase, is a multifunctional receptor that contributes to various aspects of lipid metabolism, including fatty acid uptake, cholesterol transport, and even fat-soluble vitamin absorption, which definitely includes the major carotenoids like beta-carotene, lutein, lycopene, and astaxanthin. As part of this, CD36 enables the entry of fatty acids across the cell membrane and into the mitochondria for eventual ATP production. So now that you understand the basic functions of the CD36 transporter protein, quercetin enhances its effects through quercetin's activation of the PPAR gamma AMPK signaling pathway. I've discussed PPAR gamma and especially AMPK numerous times before, and you can think of both generally as metabolism modifiers, an appropriate title given how both PPAR gamma and AMPK can be activated through cellular stress like caloric restriction and vigorous exercise. And whereas AMPK promotes energy production while reducing energy consumption, PPAR gamma, accordingly, regulates glucose and lipid metabolism, thus reducing inflammation and improving insulin sensitivity. It's definitely worth noting here that quercetin and astaxanthin are both great examples of exogenous AMPK activators, among numerous others, and the actions of AMPK, PPAR gamma, and the CD36 transporter are all closely coordinated. So let's get into that. The interplay between CD36, PPAR gamma, and AMPK is intricate and essential for maintaining efficient regulation of cellular energy. It works like this. PPAR gamma activates CD36, thus increasing fatty acid uptake, and CD36 in turn activates AMPK in the presence of fatty acids, leading to, again, increased energy production. So you can really see here how quercetin, which again activates PPAR gamma, thus improves the absorption and performance of astaxanthin, which, when sourced from algae, is a natural source of fatty acids. One practical way to see the combined benefits of astaxanthin and quercetin relevant to CD36 is to look at how their mutual AMPK activation fights a common condition like non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Non-alcoholic fatty liver disease is a common condition where fat accumulates excessively in liver cells and is driven primarily by overconsumption of sugar, refined carbohydrates, and the insulin resistance, obesity, high blood pressure, and elevated cholesterol that accompanies such a disastrous diet. AMPK activation through astaxanthin, quercetin, fasting, exercise, or other methods can, again, increase CD36 expression and fatty acid oxidation, leading to increased metabolism of the excess fatty acids while also inhibiting de novo lipogenesis, a critical component of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and the exact process in which the excess carbohydrates are converted into fatty acids. Obviously, to utilize quercetin's enhancement of astaxanthin absorption, it's best to take both nutrients at the same time. But it's important to remember that astaxanthin is entirely fat-soluble. So as a supplement, look for astaxanthin ideally in a soft gel, where you'll most likely find it in doses around 4 to 12 milligrams, while quercetin is usually found in doses around 500 milligrams. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.